begging for a team mate to get on the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Perfect body into it. He strikes so well. What an excellent finish. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alad for Set Play Gaming. This is the FIFA 23 West Brom Career Mode. It is the Road to Glory, Lady Boudoid, Season 6, Episode 127. An amazing feat, especially for me that wanted consistency. Can we just take just a quick minute to talk about this guy, Brent Leno, in the form of his life? Um, <laughs> the veteran goalkeeper now has seven clean sheets in 18 matches, only 15 goals conceded, with a transfer value of just three million. Um, keep in mind that Fulham released this guy to the free agency, and we needed someone a little bit better than what we had, and we definitely got that um, in the twilight of his career, doing absolute bits for us. Coming up today, we have a league game against Wolves away at Molyneux. And then in midweek on Wednesday, we face Tottenham Hotspur in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. And that is away. We then return home on Saturday to host Stoke City in the FA Cup. This should be a very good episode. Let's crack on and see how we do. Oh, go on then. Just a one lead game today and we have two cup games. We wanted to be a cup team. But we're doing so well in the league. I don't want us to give up the um, top eight spot that we have. And we take on Wolves here. We have to put out a strong side simply because of how good Wolves are. Opening few minutes, Tavernier cuts inside Nelson. And then he gets a shot off. And it actually strikes the top of the crossbar. You don't even see this from the replay. But it actually does hit the top of the crossbar. Fantastic effort from Marcus Tavernier. And then just before the half hour, Musa Barrow into Zabayos. Then played back to Barrow, who plays it in. And it's a great finish from Nico Gonzalez. It's a well worked move. I was actually anticipating Barrow to take that on and take the shot. Um, I didn't expect him to play the pass. I should have done, really, because they just always like to play those extra two passes, don't they? Good timing. What a goal. Defence unlocked. And the ball slid past Bert Leno. Can't really blame him there. He comes out and tries to look big. And then a few moments later, Tavernier takes it past the last man, Giles. He's into the box. And a good save by the goalkeeper. Just to get his leg to it. And then just two minutes later, the ball not clear. Neil intercepts and look at this touch from Campbell to take it past Martinelli and then take the shot into the far corner. A brilliant finish from Therese Campbell. I wish this guy was a little bit more consistent. If this guy was more consistent, I'm pretty sure we could tell Ayanacho, but we just we've got such a nice front three now. Choice of a front three between Campbell, Ayanacho and Dubisholu. And then Campbell here into the box. Great effort and a good save by the goalkeeper to push that wide. Just before half time, Wolves looking to try and get back ahead. They weren't ahead for long. Zabayos skips over the challenge. Barrow into Zabayos. Back to Ruiz. Back to Barrow. Out comes Leno. Great save. And then they try to follow up. And Leno makes a double save. And now on the. Um, into stoppage time in the first half into Barrow, he's in behind Michaelidis too slow to react and Leno comes to the rescue it's that super goalkeeper again, the German has been in inspired form Bruno Lage praying for a go ahead goal, the second half action here, Tavernier Kual, it's intercepted by Malo Gusto and then Nico Gonzalez, the goal scorer, into Barrow Barrow He's into Ruiz, Ruiz intercepted, but then he wins the ball back into Musa Barrow, a low shot. Wolves have just recently sold Ruslan Malinovsky. I'm not sure where he moved to, but he's no longer on their scoring charts. Then Rias Nelson with an effort here, four minutes before the hour. A great save from Leno. As I mentioned in the comments to the last episode, I'm pretty certain that Mikalidis and Leno are the main reasons why we're actually doing so well. 
this season. Zobayos to Fabio Ruiz going for the far corner with 22 minutes to go. And Leno there again to make the stop and deny them. Great save from the German again. Good stuff, lad. And then Fabian Ruiz, 72 minutes in. Papa Gay goes for a shot off the crossbar. And then Mikalidis gets to it. And then Tafolo can clear. Marlo Gusto, this is in stoppage time. 90 plus 3. Barrow, are they going to get the winner here? Into Gonzalez. Nico Gonzalez, front post. And it's another good save from Bert Leno as he tips it around the post. And so we just do enough here. We didn't really threaten at all in the second half. But you know what? I'm going to take that. It's another point on the road. And only one conceded to a very good wall side that are in the top 10. We have to move on now to our cup games. As always, I welcome your comments. And let me know below what you think of our season so far. Some of you may laugh at this, but Spurs are actually going for the league title. They have three players that are all in double figures in goals scored in the Premier League. Pedro Neto, Gabriel Jesus and um, Julian Alvarez all in double figures. And now they look to try and seal themselves a final a cup final in the Carabao Cup. If they can get both a league and cup double in one season, that would be a tremendous um, season for Spurs. In the opening few minutes here, McCrory wins the ball from Sulamana on the left side, preferred giving Pedro Neto a rest here today, Spurs. But McCrory wins the ball, and then a ref referee says no penalty, quite rightly so. And then Sulamana with a, an attempt here on 22 minutes. Great save, actually, by the goalkeeper, uh, Bailey Peacock Farrell. Actually got a plus one for him. He's 31 years of age, but he just got plus one growth to 73 now. So very solid backup for us. And then on 26 minutes, Ducore into Divisholu. Goes round, goes for the outside of the foot shot. And a good save by Nunez to deny us a chance at goal there. 26 minutes before our chance at goal. Definitely 4-5-1 for us. And just try and keep him out. And then Rodri into Alvarez. Great block here from McCrory as he covers O'Shea, who was out of position. Bellingham sweeps up. And then on 39 minutes, Ducore loses out. It's prodded through. Alvarez again gets through. McCrory tries to dive across to um, slide across to block the shot. But the shot ends up going goalwards, and it's a good save. Fantastic stop from Bailey Peacock Farrell. Antonio Conte is frustrated 45 minutes in it's still nil nil and then Sulemana gets in behind the back line Miguelidis chasing back but out comes Bailey Peacock Farrell another good save that's been something of a blueprint for our sides to try and make sure that our goalkeepers play well we do rely on them quite a fair bit and then on 50 minutes given away sharp this is second half action Bellingham through to Decore, into Divisholu, takes it past one, takes it past two, Divisholu, and then parried around the post by Nunez. Five minutes later, Decore trying to chase back here, gives it up, and then Alvarez, Julian Alvarez holds off Mikalides into O'Shea, great interception, and then picked up by Spence into the box, great pass, and Rodri, unmarked, scores. It's a good pass inside. 20 minutes left. And we've changed our tactics a little bit. Diangana peels wide to the right this time. Back to Tavernier. Back to Diangana. Goes for a shot. It's a good save from Nunez with 20 minutes left. We bring on an extra attacker. And we've gone to 5-3-2. We've abandoned that wing system. Mikalidis with a header. And a good save. He scored four goals this year. Mikalidis in the league. And here we go. And there's his fifth. Mikalidis on 72 minutes equalises. This guy's more deadly than our strikers. 
As I said, he was brought in to shore up the defence, but he's doing a fantastic job from these corners. And Tavernier is getting the benefit as well because his crosses are leading to these goals. Great interception from Ducore here. And then Evans peels away from Rodri, dinks it in. Ayanacho, lovely control, great strength into Devisholu and parried away by Nunez. And then three minutes left to go. Duvisholu picks it up. He's looking to run into the wide position. Try and offer some players to a chance to run forward. Then he tries to check back. Jed Spence comes in and completely wipes him out. And the referee says, I'm not having any of that. You're off. And with two minutes plus stoppages left, we have a chance to win the game. Antonio Conte is really annoyed. Into stoppage time. Evans to Michalidis. Into Divisholu to win it. Oh, and out comes the goalkeeper. Makes a wonderful stop. Sharp wants to try and get it on his right. Pulls it back to Ducore. Ducore is going to go back to Sharp. Cross blocked. And it is going to be full time. Chance missed to win this game. But we will do this again in the next episode. With us having home advantage Hopefully we can sneak through and advance to the Carabao Cup final. And here we are in round three of the FA Cup. And we are at home at the Hawthorns taking on Stoke City. And some very brief highlights to show you. Opening seven minutes. Bellingham into Diangana. Back from injury. Slides it in. And Ianacho can't finish from there. Neil trying to force it on. But McCarran gets a block in. Stoke looking to try and knock us out here. McCrory comes across. Great interception back to Tofolo. And then Tofolo gives it away, trying to do an aerial pass to Cedric Roche, their French striker. And Roche really, really should have finished that off. A suicidal pass from Tofolo. Bert Leno to the rescue. And then Bellingham into Ayanacho. It's headed away. One, Rashidza, lovely footwork to get around Wilmer. Rashidza, this is 35 minutes in. Rashidza goes for the shot. We know how good he is from those distant shooting positions. And just coming up to half time. Aerial through pass. Here comes Roche again, looking to use his pace down this left hand side. Ducure comes across, and it's a great interception by the youngster. Second half now. Bellingham into El Mizuni. Mizuni. El Mizuni through to Ayanacho. He gets around Taylor. Skips past him. Goes for the shot. And what a save that is by Hermanson. As he comes out. Makes himself big. Actually comes off his right leg. You see it here. Good save. As always we're going to try and threaten from the best positions possible. And we're going to use Ayanacho as much as possible. Bellingham into Ayanacho. Look at this turn. Away from Sutar, and that's a fantastic finish. Absolutely fantastic. And this is kind of what you want Ayanacho to do. You just want him to sort of move himself into a position where he can receive the pass just in front of the area, spin the defender so it's on his left, and just hit it as hard as possible. Turn Sutar, and that's a fantastic finish in the bottom corner. Always going away from the goalkeeper, low and hard. And then with 10 minutes left to go, Tofolo on the overlap here. He's going to wait for Kowal to get into the into position. Kowal into the box, just goes one more into Ayanacho. Low shot into the left. It is 2-0, and that is job done for us. Kaleche Ayanacho completes his brace. And uh, with Dovisholu putting so much effort in lately, he was kind of tired. And uh, nice to see Ayanacho step up and grab two goals here in the FA Cup to push us into the next round. So far, so good. We're going well in the league and we're also going well in the cup competitions. We've just got to sort of see Spurs out in the next episode. Of course, if you continue to enjoy this series, please smash the like button. Continue to support me as we wrap up FIFA 23 career mode. Great result for us.
thank you so much for joining me today on the channel. If you enjoyed this episode, consider smashing the like button. And of course, if you want to continue to support me, watch anything from the playlist available at the end of this video. Uh, this should come out to you on Sunday. I'm going to be back on Tuesday in two days where we face West Ham in the Premier League as well as Leicester. And we should have that return game at home as we host Tottenham in the second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final. Thank you again for your support. This is Arlad for Set Play Gaming.